boom, we're talking face huggers today. This is gonna be fun. What kid that grew up with alien movies didn't stop and think, man, I need one of these I can actually bring home? This is a face hugger. If you guys are an alien fan, you know all about uh, the creature. Super iconic. Uh, today we're gonna do a quick review uh, of this piece. And this is a pretty budget friendly, uh, cheap face hugger replica. Okay, so this bad boy actually came uh, out uh, around the time of Alien Covenant, which for all of Alien Covenant's beautiful art department work, that film had some issues, if we're being honest. But this piece was not one of them. Let me back up. So there have been a lot of facehuggers made over the years. There have been small runs from artists and there have been some mass produced pieces. A lot of times facehuggers that are latex or silicone with armature wire, they get pretty expensive, right? These are posable props. There were some older ones that were a little cheaper, but this guy was the first one to come out in a while whose price ranged from about 70 to 100 bucks and he was a latex type material. I think they're calling it PVC. I'm not sure if that's accurate, uh, but regardless, it was a, a flexible soft material. It has armature wire in the hand so you can pose it. The tail also has a nice thick piece of armature wire so you can bend it. Now listen, it's not gonna be as posable and as nice as those high-end prop replica, like a, like a true collector's piece, but this thing's pretty good. And it's 70 to 100 bucks. If you can get a good deal, about 70, this thing's a no-brainer. Now, in fairness, I've touched up the paint a little bit. I wouldn't be me if I didn't uh, give it a couple tweaks. For less than 100 bucks, I don't know how you're gonna beat it. You'd have to be shopping in the second-hand market and get lucky on a more expensive piece. So let's say you pull the trigger and you find one of these, you get a great deal, you, you, it arrives in the mail, you get it out of the box and you go, man, I'd like to beef up that paint a little bit. Here are a couple quick tips that will help. Um, I put, I did two main things here. The first was I took some paint, uh, like a dark brown raw umber, uh, and I rubbed it into the, the shadow, like the deep areas, and then I used a rag to kind of wipe away so you're left with this more detailed kind of pattern in it. Really easy, it is not rocket science. I just used acrylic paint, so nothing fancy there either. Here's the second thing, um, and it's not much more complicated. I had some mold making latex rubber. It comes in like a small jar. You can usually get it at art shops or uh, hobby shops. Uh, so a small jar of, of mold making latex. And I brushed a thin skin of that latex over the piece. So imagine that creates a thin, clear, kind of flexible skin. You can peel and pull and start to get all these weird peely skin details on there. Um, after it, you let it dry, then you start to peel and tug and wear at it a little bit. I'll shoot you guys some close-ups so you can see how that looks. Man, it adds a ton of detail. It's good stuff. So highly recommended. This is the Alien Covenant posable face hugger. I think they're calling it a replica. You can still find them. They're still out there if you if you hunt. So if you can get a good price, pick it up. You won't regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am a diehard alien collector. So please, guys, share uh, your collections. Or if you have tour videos, share them in the comments. I would love to see them. I'm a total alien addict and I will appreciate it. I can promise you that. So yeah, please subscribe for more. We're gonna do some uh, more reviews and we'll eventually we'll have some build and paint tutorials. Um, and a bunch of other content coming uh, this year. So thank you guys for watching and uh, check back soon, later.